Hey guys, it's Nick, and I'm going to talk about potential third overall draft choice, Bull and Byram, today in this video. Yes, the Blackhawks have the third overall pick in this year's entry level draft, and it's been it's been talked about who should they take. Well, um, from Greg Button of TSN, who's pretty very credible. He's stated that Bull and Byram's been on the rise and been showing that he can be the potential third overall pick in this year's entry level draft. That being said, this is a good idea. If the Hawks want to get back to having one of the best defenses in the NHL, they should take this kid. Byram is could help make the Blackhawks have the probably the best um, defensive prospect pool in the NHL. With Yoki Haru, Adam Boquist, Nick Bedeen, Ian Mitchell, if they can take Byram at third overall, that can be a big game changer. The thing is, the last two drafts, we've taken defense in the first round three in our last three picks. Yoki Haru being in 2017 for our first round pick. Great pick. <laughs> and last year at 8th overall, Adam Boquist, who's an, another great pick who could turn out to be a stud in the NHL. And Nick Bedin in the um, first round last year when we tr to get with the Nashville Predator pick, who's another future good star defenseman. I have that feeling with Chicago and having these players in board. Um, having a potential chance to taking an elite young talent in Bolin Byram, who I believe is the second best skater in the NHL draft going into this year behind Jack Hughes. This could be a game changer. Byram is a young, flourishing defenseman out of the Vancouver Giants of the Western Hockey League. Um, he is this good. He In this season with the Vancouver Giants, in 62 games played, he had 26 goals, 45 assists for a total of 71 points on this season. Those are ridiculous numbers. Um, and he led the WHL in points for the playoffs this year after um, the Giants got eliminated just a few nights ago. To go and Byram is this good of a defensive talent that the Chicago Blackhawks should be looking at taking third overall. Um, in his time with the Giants, he's shown that he can be a true leader. He wears the alternate in Vancouver with the Giants, and that's a good attribute to have, a young um, future leader of a team. Um, Byram is 17 years old. He's going into this year's draft as potentially third overall or fourth overall. Um, caliber, but I think the Blackhawks should not pass on Byram. Byram is that good. He is a potential um, number two, number one defenseman for any NHL team. Byram can fit into Chicago's um, scheme perfectly with the fact that we are going to have one of the future great um decors in the NHL of Boquist, Yoki Haru, Bedin, and potentially um, Byram. If they take Byram, this can be a big um, boost to the Blackhawks moving forward. The Blackhawks have missed the playoffs two years in a row. Everyone knows that, which is a shame. But it's been a key part where the Blackhawks have had one of the worst defenses in the NHL. A thing is with Byram, 
something we did not take with um, into considerations from taking Yoki Haru, Boquist, and Bedin in the last two first round picks and the last two first rounds of the NHL draft from 2017 and 2018. They're not um, left-hand shots. Byram is a left-hand shot, something we need. Byram being a left-hand shot leads to a potential great um, attribute to have since the Blackhawks have more right-hand shot defensemen than they do um, left-hand shots. And Byram being a left-hand shot, being probably the second best skater in this year's draft, is a good thing to have. I can see the Chicago Blackhawks going up to the podium in Vancouver this year, Stan Bowman making the announcement with the third overall selection of the 2019 NHL Draft, the Chicago Blackhawks are proud to select from the Western Hockey League of the Vancouver Giants, Bolin Byram. Vancouver native, that is. This would be a key to the Chicago Blackhawks in fixing the defensive problems they have had for the past few seasons. If they could get Byram, I could see the Chicago Blackhawks being back in the playoffs within the next year. Byram being that good of a defenseman, they, need, they should take him with this third overall pick. It will be unfathomable if the Chicago Blackhawks pass on Byram because um, we know who's supposed to go um, first overall and second overall and um, Jack Hughes and Capo Caco. I feel like Caco should go first overall but it sounds more like Hughes is going first overall which is not bad. <laughs> um, but honestly, if the Chicago Blackhawks take Byram with this third overall pick, this is a good part to building a future great defensive core in the NHL with Yoki Haru, Boquist, um, Bedin, and hopefully Byram. And hell, you can even throw in Ian Mitchell. Ian Mitchell sounds like he wants to stay in college though. So that's why I say take the pick and get Byram. Best skater available, best player available in my opinion if they do go defense again for the third year straight in the first round of a draft. If they take Byram, the Blackhawks defensive um, woes will be ending soon. And the Chicago Blackhawks should be back in playoff contention within the next year. Um, this is a key pick to the Chicago Blackhawks with the third overall pick this year, and I would love to see the Chicago Blackhawks go up and announce they have select Bolin Byram with the 2019 NHL Draft. So, down in the comments down below, I want to hear what your opinions are on Bolin Byram. If the Chicago Blackhawks should take him, or if they should take someone else. I want to hear what you guys think. And, um... Thank you for watching our broadcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And most of all, let's go Hawks!